Okay, let's talk about a concept here that is going to play a major role uh, in this unit when it comes to polynomial functions and their zeros. And that is the idea of what we call complex conjugates. Okay, and again, a little aside, if we may. Uh, when we were learning about factoring, okay, we talked about a specific scenario that can be factored very quickly, and that is the difference of squares, right? Difference because we're subtracting two perfect squares like so. The difference of squares can be factored every time into what we call conjugates, okay? Conjugates are binomials that have the same term in the front and the same term in the back, one of them with a plus, one of them with a minus, okay? So, and it worked, this street works both ways. The difference of squares can be factored into conjugates, okay? And this is a big word, all right? not going away anytime soon, conjugates. And conjugates can be multiplied to produce the difference of squares. Now, these are real number conjugates, okay? You can see from the title of this slide, we're about to talk about complex conjugates. So this, th this idea of having two terms inside the parentheses, I realize this is, real one, this is really one number, but you see it in two parts. We see the exact same two parts here. The only difference is the signs between them. So we would call these complex conjugates, okay? And to demonstrate what makes these special, let's multiply these complex conjugates together and see what happens. Two times two is four. Two times negative five i is negative 10 i. Positive five i times two is positive 10 i. And positive five i times negative five i is negative 25 i squared, okay? Now what happens? We talked about this in a previous video in terms of multiplying uh, complex numbers together. We said that i squared has a value of negative one. So now this problem is four minus 10i plus 10i minus 25 times negative one, which means this entire term becomes a positive 25 and we have a four, okay? Now what happens? with our imaginary parts in here, right? What are they? Those are opposites, right? So our entire product, and I, I realize you want it, you probably want to jump the gun here and add these. We're not going to do it just yet. This product becomes four plus 25 because these imaginary terms are canceled out, okay? I'm just going to point something out here. What is four? Four is two squared. What is 25? 25 is five squared, right? So four plus 25 is two squared plus five squared. So what's the connection between our real number conjugates and our complex conjugates, right? We said real number conjugates can produce the difference of squares, Complex conjugates produces the sum of squares, okay? So yes, this answer is 29, right? Complex conjugates will produce a single real number, okay? And that real number will always be the sum of the squares of the real numbers that we see up here, okay? Just another brief example off the cuff here. All right, suppose I was multiplying 1 minus 3i times 1 plus 3i, right? Recognize that it's the same number in front, the same number in back, 1 with a minus, 1 with a plus. So this is equal to 1 squared plus 3 squared, which would be 10. Okay, so you want to write this down. Complex conjugates, in fact, I'll write it down with you. Complex conjugates produce, produce meaning multiply together and create the sum of squares. Okay. Big deal here.